demonstration I will show you how to create an array now we are going to look at one type of array but the way you create different types of arrays is not too different and what's an array let's um, let's take a look at what a variable is first just to refresh our minds I'm going to call a new pro uh, create a new project called array demo and I'm going to add a new class to it just to show some code and I'm going to keep this package empty okay I don't want to deal with that right now so uh, I'm just going, going to call this array demo the class name you can't have spaces in there I also need to check public static void main uh, this name doesn't have to be an exact match to the package um, but uh, it doesn't make a difference even if it is right so this is the basic startup code of any Java program if I run this it will not do anything and that's um, that's correct so what I want to do now is I want to just create a variable called variable one and you can tell I started off by saying int int means integer and now the next thing I would do uh, with this variable is give it an initial value so the first step is the declaration of the variable that's where we mention the type that's basically the only place we, where we mention the type um, in most instances and this is the initialization um, so that is assigning a value for the first time all right and what do we want to do next we might want to display it so I'm going to say import Java X dot swing and there we go okay we're good and we'll say J um, option pane show message dialog and the first one has to be null as we know and then let's try putting wa one here and see what's going to happen all right so let's run this and there you go so you get the you get the message so which is the contents of that variable so this is the last step was the usage now the usage can be anything you can do anything to it so but that's what we did with variables okay so um, that's variables and let's talk about arrays the main topic an array is uh, just like what it sounds like if you if you look up the meaning of what an array is in general it means it's a it's a bunch of things so in programming an array is also uh, more than one item it's a, a bunch of you can think of it as a bunch of variables of the same type now it's not the same as a bunch of variables because you can have um, all kinds or all different types of variables if you say a bunch of variables but an array is um, like a structure or a data structure as we call it um, and it'll have the same type and it'll have a name similar to a uh, variable um, so I'm going to call it my array name so that you can see that it's a name completely up to you and here we have to put square brackets so open and close square brackets um, and that's to say that you um, you're creating an array so this is fairly similar to the declaration of the variable stage but except we are doing an array but this is uh, um, basically part one it's not the whole thing we need to do one more step in this initial stage which is we have to create and assign the array data structure so right now we can't put any values to this if we just leave it like that to do that we need to say okay we have to have this many number of items in this thing so I'm going to say new int and number of items now the number of items can be um, from a variable it has to be an integer I'm going to say I have I want four items right so number of elements or items in the array sometimes we call them elements and here um, creating an array with four um, elements all right so the four comes from num items whatever the number that's in num items it'll create it okay so after that um, 
now let's say that if you try to do the same thing that we did with the with the variable which is just displaying it we can't now just say um, sorry my array name right so that's uh, a problem because uh, it's not going to do the right thing we want to refer to an individual um, item in the array now before we even display it what about this step the initialization have we done that now, I haven't mentioned that so um, we need to initialize as well so just like with the variable we need to refer to my array name and then you have to say the specific item you are initializing so the first item will be zero and you can say you want to put seven to it and you can you have four items right so two three we start counting from zero and then we go up um, you can only have um, you, you so the, if you have only four items when you created the array um, that's the number of items you can have so for these I will put different numbers all right um, let's put like that just to keep them a bit different and so what I have done here is I've said to the the first element in the array I put the value 7 so this is initializing the array but this is a long way of doing it imagine if we had uh, 100 items you don't really want to go down initializing each and every item at a time but I just want to do it to show this final step which uh, is what we try to do if you want to refer to an array element you need to mention the index uh, again inside square brackets with uh, the number of the index inside or the element index inside the square brackets so um, just like when we initialize we say where that value 7 is going when we want to get that value out we need to say where that value is coming out from so if you think about this if we highlight this whole thing this is just like a variable because remember when we when we had individual variables we said var1 and that's all we needed to do so um, but with an array you can't just refer to the name of the array because it's more than one item here we need to say just one item right so we can say item 0 uh, or item 1 whatever you want now when I run this the first dialog box will show the value of the variable um, which is 7 I'm going to change that to 70 so just so that we are we know that we are looking at different things and the second one will show this value which is 7 so I'm running it and um, so that's the variable 70 I put the value 70 in there just now and value 7 is coming from the first element now can you guess what it'll do if I put 2 in here what will be the second output when I run it the variable will still be 70 and the array is showing uh, so that's 70 that's the first variable now the array the last uh, dialog box is showing the contents of the element at index 2 okay so like I said this is a tedious process you don't want to do it this way uh, because with arrays we want to have uh, a variable number of or an arbitrary number of items so what we can do is we can create a loop I can create a loop I can say integer um, item all right so now this name again is completely up to you and this is writing a while loop to repeat a certain number of times so I'm going to say while the item is less than the number of items so there is a certain format to uh, writing a while loop to repeat a certain number of times so um, you have a you create a create an index or a loop variable you can call it anything you like now here I'm saying item because I'm going through um, uh, or you can call it item index um, or even just index because that's what that value will hold so it's up to you what you want to call it completely up to you it doesn't make a difference to the code and then whatever I do in here right I will just put a system out the print and then hello just to show you what's going on and I will also um, 
comment this out so that it doesn't bother us at this stage and if I run this it'll print hello how many times num items times so which is four times so that's the format of the while loop okay whatever you put in here um, instead of the system dot out dot print ln hello it will uh, repeat this many number of times but for this to happen this many number of times you need to start your index or your counter variable your loop variable there are lots of different names for this um, from zero you need to start it from zero and inside the brackets of the condition you need to say index is less than the number of times or the number of items you have to process and finally after you do the thing you want to do which is in this case just the print um, you need to increment that uh, loop variable or the index variable uh, by one so if you set it up like this this will this will guarantee to repeat num items times so it's something worth keeping in mind I don't recommend memorizing anything but this is something that's definitely worth keeping in mind right now what can we do instead of saying this stuff what we can do is we can take one of these and put it in here now if you do that and let's just get rid of these for a minute right so if you get rid of those and put it in there we'll have um, the value 7 going into position 0 each and every time now that's not good let's take a look at let's put a print statement and see what the value of index is when you um, run this loop so I'm not doing anything with the array right now so this is play uh, this is this is displaying just the value that's in the index variable inside the body of the loop the loop still repeats four times which is what we want and the index is going 0 1 2 3 4 so that's remember that's what we needed when we wanted to assign a value to the loop uh, to, sorry to the array so instead of 0 I can put index in here and now what will happen is the value 7 will go into um, my um, my array now if I print the second uh, or the item with the uh, index number 2 it'll print 7 as well in fact all of them will have 7 so <clears throat> what uh, we want to do is under normal circumstances maybe we want to take user inputs so how do we take user input we say j option pane show um, input dialog and we ask for the uh, input that we want so uh, what, what's the input uh, we will say enter value for index uh, for item and then I can show the index now this is not going to work straight away because as it says um, there is a problem the problem here is uh, this is going to give us a string we can't put a string into an integer so we need to convert that into an integer by saying integer dot pass int all right so I put that outside in the brackets but this thing is just taking a string right and let's see how this works so let me run it and there we go enter the value for item 0 okay I'm going to say 5 and now this is the next one 6 7 and 8 so I have put values 5 6 7 8 and this is displaying the third item item index 2 okay so that is 7 so because 5 6 7 7 is the third one and uh, so if we want to display all of these values using a loop it's actually fairly straightforward now this um, index name can stay the same but you can't say int again because uh, it'll say you are creating a variable again by the same name and um, so I don't need the int part I can set index back to zero what I want to do inside the loop this time is um, basically show this message dialog but I want um, what I did with the array so how did we refer to the current element in the array we said my array name 
and index so basically just replace this with index and um, this will now uh, go through display values in the array so let's run it and I'm going to enter values 5 6 7 8 and now it will show 5 6 7 8 in separate windows so 5 6 7 8 so now those values are stored there and uh, so those are the main things you have to keep in my mind when you're creating an array of any type now um, if you're creating an array of doubles you will replace all of these ints with doubles um, this integer dot pass int will be double dot pass double um, and uh, other than that there's not much that's going to be different if it's um, an array of strings this will be string um, the ints will be strings and what else yeah so the ints will be strings except for the index the index is for counting purposes remember that has nothing to do with the array it worked without the array all right and then um, you also don't need to say integer dot pass int if you're taking if you're taking string inputs right because this automatically comes as string inputs all right so that's um, the basics of arrays so this is the um, the creation of the array so it's two steps not just one step one step you can actually do this in a single line but it's still two steps uh, this is the initialization where you're getting values into the array for the first time it's different to a variables initialization because a variable holds just one value an array holds multiple values and uh, after that it's completely up to you what you want to do sometimes we go through and display all of the items sometimes we might uh, do more things with it like um, adding it out uh, adding them up uh, the it's totally up to your imagination what you want to do with the values but if you want to display the values um, still you go through the whole array you can see the loop stays the same so that's a good thing you don't need to uh, remember too much if you set it up like this it will work with an array of any size so that those are the basics of arrays